In the 1940s and 1950s, silver from Mexico was thrust into the spotlight as hordes of silversmiths from America displaced by the Second World War wound up in Mexico and brought their European design sensibility and infused it with the local craft of silversmithing featuring early pre-Columbian designs like the Aztec rose. As a result, a new style of silver took form. Silver went from the more traditional in designs like this to the ultra-modern in designs like this to keep up with the demand of the burgeoning American middle classes. Names like William Spratling, Sanborn's department store in Mexico City, drove this thirst for Mexican silver when Europe wasn't producing as much as they had in the aftermath of the war. Generally speaking, it's the same 925 purity as British silver, though designed in a very unique and different way that spoke to the tastes and sensibilities of the American audience. One of the first names in Mexican silver was Sanborn's Department Store, which had quite an unusual origin story. Started in 1903 by a pair of Californian immigrant brothers, it actually started as a drugstore introducing Mexico to its very first soda fountain. It grew and became very popular as a place to have lunch and became a department store specializing in sterling silver, like this piece here, as well as antiques and other items of value. One of the key figures in Mexican silver was the American William Spratling, who moved to Mexico, actually to represent an artist initially, but he found himself in the city of Taxco and incorporated elements of pre-Columbian and Aztec design in early pieces of silver from the city of Taxco until later turning to these very modernist style designs, such as in this coffee pot designed by William Spratling and produced in the town of Taxco. Quite often they incorporated mixed metals or pieces of timber alongside the sterling silver. 